Okay, so um, we're diving into this book, the Boogie Book. Yeah. And I gotta say, this is not your average bedtime story, is it? This thing's a whole system for right. dealing with fear. And yeah. I really want to get into how it works. Okay. Yes. Because it's a really interesting concept, you know. It is. It is. It's um, and it's interesting. You say it's not your average bedtime story because it really is for. It's marketed towards children. Yeah. And their parents. Yeah. And it's interesting how they frame fear. It's not just about like conquering it, mm -hmm. but understanding it, reclaiming your imagination, and then building resilience through that. So it's almost like I mean. When we think about the boogeyman, right? It's like this yeah. shadowy figure lurking in this the... nebulous, nebulous. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's a good word for it. That we all kind of share. Yeah, and it's like this universal yeah. concept, but it manifests differently for everyone. Absolutely. But this book is saying, okay, we're not going to just try to make the boogeyman disappear. Right. It's more like let's figure out how to deal with this fear itself. Yeah, hey, you hit the nail on the head. I mean, how do you make the boogeyman disappear? Huh. He's different for everyone, right? Exactly. And so if you can equip a child, and again, this book is also marketed towards adults right. to deal with their own fears, that's really, I think, the aim of the game here. Yeah, and they're not messing around. Like, huh. they're giving you actual steps yes. to take, like yeah. creating these protective circles using light and sound. Which is so interesting because, you know, if you think about light and sound... <laughs> It's, yeah. it's very tangible right. and it's something that we can all relate to. Exactly. And I think as kids, especially right. that idea of having a nightlight or yes. having some kind of sound machine to block out other noises. To comfort you. It's like a security blanket almost. Exactly. Yeah. But then they take it a step further mm -hmm. with this temporal fuge device. Which is honestly, I think even adults would love to have one of these. Right. If you could just, yeah, exactly. Mental shield, that's amazing. Yeah, it's like, I mean, it's essentially a way, and it's so clever how they do this, right? Mm -hmm. It's essentially a way to empower a child to create their own exactly. mechanism, right? Yeah. For dealing with this fear. And I think that's just brilliant. Yeah, because it's like giving that's them. That's clever. It's giving them the power, right? Instead <sighs> so, of saying, don't be afraid, it's like, here's how you can take control. Yes. And this is where it gets really cool because it's not just about like, you know, the mental stuff. Right. They're telling you to build stuff. Make boogie goo, sprinkle moonlight dust. Yes. I love that part. It's like arts yeah. and crafts, but for banishing fear. It's so true. Yeah. And and that's the thing. It's taking something that is kind of scary and nebulous. Right. And making it into something that is tangible. Tangible. You can control it. You can control it. Yeah. And you're also, you know engaging the child in this activity yes that is fun and creative right. and it's taking their mind off of the fear right but it's also empowering them to deal with it so it's brilliant yeah and then on top of all that mm -hmm. they don't just stop at the physical stuff right right there's this whole other layer of like okay let's talk about your emotions yeah how are you actually feeling yeah and how can we process that and it's so important because i think for a long time oh absolutely especially with kids it was just like you're fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Rub some dirt on it. Exactly. And this book is saying, no, let's actually acknowledge these feelings. And give you the tools and give you the tools to yeah. deal with it. And the visualization techniques. I mean, that stuff is not just for kids. Oh, absolutely not. I mean, okay, the, adults could benefit so much. Adults can use, like athletes use visualization. All the time. Yeah. All the time. And that's a perfect example, right? Yeah. Of taking something that is might be intangible. Mm-hmm. And then actually visualizing it to make it more real and yeah, and I think that's what's so powerful about this book is it's like it's this children's book on the surface, right? But it has these really deep okay. lessons about like how we deal with fear as humans. Yeah, it's a and I think what it also does really well is it acknowledges that fear is natural. Yes. Right. Like it's okay to be afraid. It's a human emotion. It's a human emotion. We're not trying to eliminate it. Right. We're just trying to manage it. Exactly. And I think that's such a, a healthier way to yes. approach. It's not about becoming fearless. It's You're... about learning how to... It's about having courage. Exactly. Having courage and facing those fears. And I think, you know, for anyone listening, even if you don't have kids, yeah. this book, I think, can really resonate because Absolutely. we all have those, those inner yes. boogeymen, right? Those things that keep us up at night. Absolutely. And it's so easy to just try to ignore them, right. push them away. Yeah. But this book is saying, what if we leaned into that a little bit yeah. and figured out how to 
not necessarily defeat them, but how to coexist with them exactly. in a way that allows us to still live our lives. And that's that's really the key takeaway here is, you know, we talk about children, yeah. but the same thing applies to adults. Right. right, absolutely. We all have anxieties. We all have things that we're afraid of. Mm -hmm. And this idea of just kind of acknowledging them, you know, shining a light on them, so to speak, right, can really... Um, can be really powerful. It's like that saying, the only way out is through. There you go. Yeah. Sometimes you got to face those fears head on. You got to. Yeah. And this book, I think, gives you a really interesting and creative way to do that. It does. It yeah. does. And I think, you know, even if you don't agree with all of the methods. Yeah. The core message mm. is so important. Of taking control. Of taking control. Yeah. Yes. And understanding that fear is a part of life, but it doesn't have to control us. There you go. I think you summarized it perfectly. And maybe, just maybe, that's the real power of the boogeyman, you know? Mm -hmm. It's this thing that we're all afraid of, but it's also this thing that can teach us right. how to be brave, Absolutely. how to be courageous, and yes. and how to face our fears head on. Yeah, what a great way to look at it. So I think that's a good place to leave it. I think so, too. You know, with that thought in mind, yeah. that even the boogeyman can teach us a thing or two about courage. 